So, Daisy, a remarkable night again at the G. And you're with the bloke who's played his heart out again. He sure did, Bruce. Jack, you're the skipper of a Melbourne team that's got a spot in a preliminary final. What's going through your head? I don't know. I mean, it hasn't even crossed my mind yet. Uh, yeah, you know, what a game. What a, what a fight from the boys. And, um, you know, it was, it was great for all for you know. They really tested us all game. And uh, I never felt like we were safe. So, um, credit to both teams. How did you turn it around? Because you were down in contested possession, which has been your bread and butter all year. What did you do after half time to turn that around? Yeah, that was the clear focus coming out after half time. You know, we obviously pride ourselves in that area. I mean, you were down. So, that was a challenge coming in the second half. And I thought the boys really rallied for that third quarter. And we've been impressed in both your games, really, at how you've bounced back. How did you feel second second time up tonight? You've got plenty of the footy. Oh, I felt better, you know, just, uh, you know, the game sense and just picking up the, you know, reading of the cues earlier. So, um, you know, it feels good to be back out. But, um, you know, I don't have to do too much. We've got a terrific team at the moment and everyone's really contributing. Well, you did plenty. <laughs> Go and enjoy it and good luck next week. Thanks, Dave. Appreciate it. Over to you, Richo. Thanks, Daisy. We've got Tom McDonald here. And Tom, just talking about your forward line, all of you can mark down there. It's just such a dangerous mix. Yeah, I think I think the last few weeks the forward line's been a bit hit and miss. Waste a few opportunities, but tonight we're a bit cleaner going forward and uh, I think a pretty good score in a final. The ball movement through the midfield, they, they really want to play on at all costs, get those handball receives. As a forward, you love that, don't you? Well, yeah, as soon as they break a line, you start getting one-on-ones out the back. Uh, you can tick up and hit the lead, so it gives us heaps of options when the midfielders break through. And Sam Wiedemann again after last week, a young player. He, he played pretty well tonight. Did his job again? Really good. I thought he was outstanding tonight. He just kept competing. He maybe didn't take quite as many marks, but I think his role was just as important tonight as it was last week. Daisy's got uh, Neville Jetter over there. Does he ever get beaten, Neville? Have you been beaten, Nev? <laughs> There's she asks, asks, Daisy. Have you ever been be beaten, Tommy asked. <laughs> Have I ever been beaten? Oh, plenty of times. <laughs> we haven't seen it. Yet. Training once or twice before. <laughs> That's a good uh, claim, isn't it, to beat Neville Jetter. Nev, honestly, what were you thinking when Jared Ruffhead kicked that goal at the 11-minute mark to put them back within two goals? Probably all memories throughout the year that sort of started coming back. But, um, yeah, we've been in that situation. We just wanted to stay calm. We probably made a few errors that we didn't want to make. Um, just, just get it out of our back 50 and then sort of reset down along down the line. But probably kept going short and played in their hands. So uh, we uh, steadied and uh, kicked a couple of goals. Um, and then, yeah, got the game back in our, in our hands. And you're probably letting the enjoyment of that one sink in. But how does a trip to Perth next Saturday sound? Yeah, no, looking forward to it. We went over there a few weeks ago and... I'm just looking forward to displaying our brand again. Obviously, the crowd turned out for us, and, and we put a show on for them, and um, we just want to keep playing our brand. Everyone keep playing their role. And, uh, yeah, we uh, never believe in never. Uh, you seem to take whoever comes and stands next to you, so I wouldn't put it past you to line up on Jack Darling or something, but who do you think you'll get next week? Oh, they've got some real good forwards there, Lacroix, who's just obviously the elder statesman of the forward line. Um, and a lot of, lot, of, lot of battles with him over the years. Um, we've got Willie Rioli. Liam Ryan, Ryan Ryan. So these blokes uh, are proven goal kickers. Um, Willie Rioli was best on last time we played them. So we're going to be at our best. Um, obviously, the midfield is going to be a tight battle. So we'll start there and then um, hopefully yeah, we can get my own chocolates. What about the young guys in this team? I mean, gone are the days where Joe Nathan has to carry all the load in the midfield there. Arms again, good tonight. Now, how impressed have you been with the improvement of those guys? Oh, they've been unbelievable this year. Um, obviously, started slow, but... There's uh, no surprise to their improvement. They work as hard as anyone on the list. You've seen Clayton Oliver. He's always in the pool doing extra stuff. Christian Salem's always in the gym. Christian Petrarca, he's always lifting heavy weights. And comes out game day, so there's no surprises to us within the club. It is great to see them make, uh, put themselves on show and, and play their best footy on a big stage. Thanks for your time, Nev. Right, Recover you. well. Back to you, Richo. Finals footy on Fox, post-game, brought to you by Kumo Tyre. Amazing scenes here, amazing scenes. The last verse of the Melbourne song, which has been going since the final song. Dermot is unbelievable. The only thing that has split their singing has been the chanting of Ruse. He... Hey, guys, what do you think of Paul Ruse? <laughs> Can we get some shots over here? Have a look at this. <laughs> <laughs> You're terribly embarrassed at the moment, aren't you? Ah, <laughs> oh, wonderful.
beautiful scenes here at the MCG. That was spontaneous before. I might have to give him a bit of a pep talk there. He's going to get him going the second time. But they're all pretty happy. Are you happy, Melbourne supporters? <laughs> Did you win? <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, so that's the Collingwood one. Yeah. The hey guys, it's a wonderful night for the Melbourne Football Club. They're having a crack into a preliminary final to take on the West Coast Eagles. They won in front of 90,152 people by 33 points. They've played the West Coast Eagles four times in finals history. They've won one, the 1988 elimination final. This is how long ago it was, Derm. That game was played at Waverley. <laughs> They've lost three times, and those games were played at Waverley, Waverley and the Wacker. That's how long ago it was. So the 1994 preliminary final was the last time they played. They're going off here. It's it again, Ed. They don't normally cheer in September, Ed. They're enjoying it. <laughs> Let's just so soak in the atmosphere here. They're chanting Melbourne, Melbourne, Melbourne. And now the Melbourne Football Club walk off the MCG triumph at the two captains. Thump the air. Look at that. Fantastic stuff. Nathan Jones. Well, 12 years ago, he played in his sixth game of football in a finals match. He's had to wait all this time later to finally get a win last week. And now he walks off the ground. And he and Jack Viney, the son of Todd Viney, will lead their team next week onto Optus Stadium in Perth to take on the West Coast Eagles for a spot in the 2018 Grand Final. Paul Roos, your thoughts? Oh, it's amazing. Uh, last year we sat here, I think, Derm, you were with me. I'm not sure, Kingy, but when Richmond beat um, the Giants, Giants in the prelim final. So yeah. to be here tonight to see the resurrection continue of the Melbourne Footy Club and, and the song being played three or four times in a row, uh, it's uh, pretty special. Yeah, it's pretty special. Be quiet and just soak this in, mate. <laughs> Ruzi is a legend. Have a look at this. It's magnificent stuff. And they're just waiting here at the MCG because they reckon our pictures will be going up shortly to see the Melbourne team sing the song. Here we go. Let's go down to the rooms. The Melbourne song will be sung with great gusto. Here it comes. Hey! 